Wait, that's not a snake. That's a monitor. It's got legs. What's up, guys? We are here at the Vancouver Reptile Expo. This is the first reptile expo that I have ever been to, and oh my god, I am 100% going back to another. Right off the bat, we're gonna see this crazy looking monitor lizard. I don't even know what it's called. If somebody knows, let me know down in the comments below. Uh, then we're gonna move on some gigantic insects. I'm not the biggest fan of insects, but these were just so cool to look at. You can see this gigantic centipede. They got some scorpions, uh, as well as tarantulas, which, oh my, those kind of freaked me out, but they weren't moving, so it wasn't as bad. They also got a skink over here, as leopard gecko, and I think a snake over there at the top left um, at this booth itself. All of the booths, I'm going to put the names on the screen as much as I can. Uh, they also got some tortoises and the baby tortoise in which I got to hold, which was so adorable. Uh, then we got some poison dart frogs. I've seen dart frogs before, but I haven't seen anything that looked like this. This is like a black and blue one. If it's common, well, I, I haven't seen it before. So they were really cool to me. Uh, then we got a peach throat monitor lizard. These guys are the adults. They didn't really do a whole lot other than like sit in the basking spot and just kind of chilled there. Uh, they got some more insects over on the left. Then these are the baby versions of those monitors, which were super active, running around everywhere, climbing up the glass, kicking up the dirt. Uh, those were very cool to look at. And these, I don't know what these are, but somebody please find them. This is like some kind of miniature alligator lizard looking thing. They had a bright red head, very deep, rich green body and some yellow tails. Uh, then we got some more uh, monitors over here, blue tongue skink. This is like an adult, so they're, they're pretty big. It was like the size of my hand. I didn't think they'd get that big. I don't think I've ever seen a skink before as well. There's some gargoyle geckos we completely glanced over. And these are some beautiful pythons. I didn't realize pythons can come in such crazy colorations. I'm not the biggest fan of snakes, but there's one in the bottom left. His name is Waffles. There he is. He was really cute, and I really like to just uh, look at him. And I also got to hold him, which was really nice. Uh, then we got some free feeders here by Cricket Worm. This is like a local feeder provider company and they got some uh, free super worms for me. So thank you, you guys for that. Then me and my girlfriend decided to spend too much time looking for the right sticker because you know, that's what she wants is the right sticker. We actually got these for free from the Lazy Lizard. So shout out to you guys. Thank you for those stickers. Over here, we got some more crested geckos and gargoyle geckos, I believe, over as we pan, you'll see them all. I'm really tempted to get another crested gecko, but my enclosure right now is way too small, so hopefully in the near future, I'll upgrade. Then we got these really short snakes. They look like funny little noodles. I don't know what they're called as well, but those are really cool to see. Then we got some more crested geckos with very unique morphs and colorations. I am just absolutely in love with what they provide compared to like a pet store gecko, which, you know, doesn't look nearly as cool. Some more pythons here in these acrylic boxes. Uh, over uh, the next one, we got these. I have never heard nor have I seen these before. These are rock monitors. If these are common, then I don't know what I'm freaking out about, but they're really cool to me. Uh, these guys came from Elusive Exotics. They also had some chameleons, which are so adorable. Uh, I've had one like way back in the day, many years ago, and I'm so tempted to get another. They look so funny, just trying to climb up the plastic tub here. You can see uh, those guys look really sick. Um, over here, I did not know people kept like jumping spiders as pets, but they have the, the most adorable enclosures I have ever seen. You can see all of these are custom. They had little pieces of wood with like miniature hides in them and a bunch of other little knickknacks that you put in these cages to make it look really pretty. Uh, so those are really cool. There's another uh, stuffed axolotl. There was quite a few stuffed pet animals looking things which are really cool and pins, of course. Uh, these look really nice and, and more stickers, of course, more stickers. Uh, over here we have isopods, something I didn't know people kept as pets too, uh, but those also looked really cool. Uh, over here we got some morning geckos, they're so small, there's also some babies I'll show later on in the videos, uh, but those are just absolutely tiny. And we got a Pac-Man frog, oh my god, I want some more Pac-Man frogs, because uh, I, I love frogs if you guys haven't figured that out at this point. Uh, but that was really cool to see, they also had some corn snakes on their boots as well, and we got this. Uh, taxidermy insects. I don't know if that's the right term to call it, but they had a bunch of insects sort of frozen in time in these little frames, which was really interesting and creepy at the same time. This kind of hurt my soul a little bit because I love frogs and I hated to see one dead in an orb, but it, it uh, yeah, that, that was a thing. Uh, they also had a bunch of jewelries and more knickknacks. These are some unique geckos. This is a flying gecko, which looked like a leaf, and a fan foot gecko, which didn't look like its feet looked like fans, but whatever, that's what they're called. Uh, of course, we had a bunch of supplies and other goods in which I got a few of those. I didn't get any animals this time. Um, 
And then here are the baby morning geckos. These are like the size of a quarter. They're so small and so cute. Uh, then there's a bunch of uh, gargoyle and crested geckos here at uh, Klepto, Klepto, Klepto geckos. Uh, and this looked like a mini dragon. I don't know what it is. This is another thing I've, I've never seen before. It had like tiny little spikes on his tail and had a really big head, so it looked kind of goofy, but it was very cool. Uh, then they got some more geckos all over the place and some snakes at this booth as well. Uh, this enclosure looked pretty sick, but it's completely open, so I don't know if you can keep anything live in it other than like a few fish or some plants, which I guess it just had plants on it. Uh, this is some moth, uh, moth, moss hides um, and then some ant farms I'm not a fan of ants but I am a fan of the enclosures because they can get really elaborate with all kinds of like little pieces of tech in it and stuff uh, this is by Canada Ant Colony if I ever get one it'll probably be from them this is a little poster explaining all the morphs of crested geckos here and this this gigantic miniature dinosaur looking thing I don't even know if you call it miniature anything because it's freaking huge I didn't expect to see any animal like this at an expo in the middle of an ice rink but this was here and this poor guy slapped it onto his back there's no way in hell those claws do not hurt him because they were like clawing at him it was like grabbing him he had a few bloody cuts on his body i'm totally guessing it's from this sucker right here but god that was insane to see it was like a zoo in person you can kind of just touch him and feel him and oh my god he looks freaky but so cool uh, so yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this little mini tour of a reptile expo around me. I'm so going to another one. Uh, maybe there'll be one in the summer that I'm going to head to. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.